Welcome to this NMP flight video tutorial. This tutorial will look at the user alerts configuration. To access the configuration, you can go via the column header submenu, select manage alerts, or by the settings icon, again selecting manage alerts. You have to ensure that you're in the user alerts tab in this customization window. And then you'll see that there are three default alerts already configured. The suspended flights highlighting the row in orange, and the airborne flights highlighting the row in gray. You can remove these alerts by clicking on the alert and pressing remove alert but you cannot change the type of alerting the all the parameters the other default is the delay you can configure this however that is the subject of another tutorial this type of user alerting cannot be removed you can add your own alerts by clicking on add alert and then selecting from the menu. Here I've selected diversion. I'm going to select the alerting type mark row. I'll select a color and it's set that it will be alerted when a flight has diverted. I can't change that parameter. Add another alert. This time I'm going to select the note field. Again, I will mark row. This time select orange. Here I can set the parameters. So I will say when the note field contains the text curfew, I should be alerted. And a third option I will add is EOBT validity. And here I will ask to highlight the cell in red. And I can choose less than equals or greater than. I will say when the EOBT validity has a value that's less than 20 minutes, I should be alerted. And to commit those, I have to click on the apply button. When I do that, my flight list is updated with the alerting that I've just set. In the alerts column, there will be an indication of those user alerts. So even if you don't have the relevant column visible, you can still see the in the alerts column that something has been alerted. I selected for the EOBT validity less than 20 minutes. So here, the five flights that have an EOBT validity, there's only one less than 20. So that's the only one that has an alert. You'll see in the flight list that for those flights that are already airborne, that the flight list text is not black, it's slightly grayed out. And for a suspended flight, the whole row is marked in orange. For the note field, I asked for the row to be marked which means only adding something in the alerts column. And when that is added, the color that I select will be used. So the note is shown in the alerts column in orange because the note field has the text curfew. And for diverted flights, again, I selected the mark row in green so when a flight is diverted, in the case of the Speedbird 
835 whiskey that flight is diverted and the alerts column shows the diverted icon that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching